We also had the MGF thing on the show. And man, this MGF thing, I mean, they are walking that line. And I don't know if he is going to go full top babyface or if he is going to end up, you know, proving what he says he is, that he is the devil and screwing Moxley, screwing the fans, going 100 percent heel. I don't is that a hair? What in the heck's going on here? I don't know what's going on, but I watched it last night. And here's what's interesting about last night. When uh, when he did his first promo, which we're going to be talking about, I didn't trust this guy as far as I could throw him. And then Stokely comes out and MJF tells him, don't you dare do anything to John Moxley. And, you know, he's being, he's he's a total babyface promo. The crowds are cheering him like crazy. He still throws in a couple of jabs here and there. You know who doesn't? But uh, I didn't I didn't trust the guy. But then at the end of the show, they did the big angle where he, you know, the Stokely's guys are beating up Moxley. And MGF comes out and he's just torn. Should I help the guy? Should I not? Everyone's locked in the dressing room. I mean, man, should I do this? And uh, what was what was what was key to me? And I could end up really hating this down the road, but the key to me is he didn't just hit the ring and the heels bailed, and then you know you're left wondering if maybe this was all a setup. But he hit the ring, he fired Stokely Hathaway, and then all of Stokely's guys beat the absolute hell out of MJF. They did the whole gang beating. They beat him down. They pummeled him. They left him for dead. I mean, it was a total... If this is a swerve, then in storyline, MJF basically hired these guys to give him the worst beating possible. Which I guess, you know, I guess if you're the devil, you'd go to any length to ultimately screw the fans. But uh, I just don't know what they're going to do here, so... I'm very intrigued by the MGF storyline one way or the other. To me, to me, I think the guy should just go full babyface for a while. You may as well try. The fans want it. It's never been done. It's there's nothing that can be that can't be undone. You know, if he wants to go heel six months down the road or something, whatever. I think you may as well give it a shot. Give the fans what they want. And if it doesn't work, who cares? This is not Steve Austin. In 2001, where they have no other baby faces. I totally forgot this story until just now. And it happened when I was a kid. And so I think there's a decent chance that it could have been like a dream. Yes. And so, like, I was chopping the tree. And uh, I just remember looking up. And all of a sudden, like, this was a weird thing. I remember I looked up and there were Ewoks in the tree. That was definitely a dream. And I saw it coming down. (laughs) And all of a sudden, I was like, I woke up later. (laughs) This is the weird thing he said. Yeah, it is. well, it is weird. Lot weird about it. It is weird. There were Ewoks in the tree. Yeah, that's weird. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny show wrestling observer live figure four daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men podcast speak now pro wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.